Have you ever dreamed about becoming a graphic designer but you don't have the money or the time for expensive courses or expensive tools that on top of that are super complicated to learn? Well, you're in luck because today I'm bringing you a complete guide on how to get started in graphic design for free in 2025. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Matilda. Welcome back to the Pixar YouTube channel. And today I'm super excited because I have been wanting to do this video for a really long time where I break down everything you really need to know to get started as a graphic designer solely using Pixar. So if you want to know more, let's get on. First and foremost, let's talk about the different types of graphic designing because as a graphic designer, you can specialize in different things. For example, you can specialize in brand designing. These are things like creating brand kits. Personally, I really love this one and we can delve into it a little bit more in a minute. There's also things like poster designing, very standard. If you think about graphic design, this is probably what you think about creating posters and ads for different brands. Then there's social media design, any sort of Instagram post that you see from any brands or even influencers have had some sort of graphic designing behind it. Then there's web design which gets a little bit more complicated but not impossible and lastly print design and this is things like making t-shirts making mugs a lot of things that you would consider maybe starting a side hustle using so let's get into designing 101 there's a few basic concepts that you really need to familiarize yourself before becoming a graphic designer number one is color obviously every graphic designer has their preferences when it comes to color like like for me i love warm tones i love bold pops of color and I love pastels but a lot of the times when you're working with different clients they might have their own set of colors they might have branding colors they might have colors that represent to them what their brand is like so you really need to familiarize yourself with color theory and how to pair up different colors a lot of people think that just because two colors are warm or two colors are cool they can go perfectly well together but if you actually subscribe to our youtube channel you probably would have already seen this video where we break down how to create different color combos a quick breakdown is that you actually never know if a color combo really truly goes well unless you experiment with them together and you can try doing this on Pixar to just make different shapes and you can just use a color picker and you can just drag and drop and try different colors out and see what color combinations work best for your projects. Some of the color combos that I've been obsessed with this summer and that are trending like crazy are the butter yellow and the matcha green and if you follow us on Instagram we constantly update you with any color combos that are trending and things that, that people are looking for when they're contacting new graphic designers. Next up we have to talk about fonts because any sort of graphic designing requires font usage and again this is very much about experimenting and seeing which fonts pair up with different ones. Also, depending on your chosen field, there's going to be different fonts that are going to be trending. Like for example, right now, we're absolutely loving the handwritten font trend. Some of our personal favorites include Dreaming Out Loud, Rini Beanie, Hawking Gazadi, Corkin Pro, and also script fonts that are absolutely taking over socials this summer. Like for example, Tropica, Snell Roundhand, Lake Sight, and Society Editor. You can find all of these on the Pixar app or Pixar on desktop. And again, I just recommend experimenting. The general rule that I love is is just pairing a handwritten or script font with something a little bit more basic like a Helvetica or a Times New Roman and this is going to give you a lot of versatility especially when creating brand kits because it's going to give you a font for titles and a font for text bodies. Lightning round of tips that you should keep in mind if you want to be a graphic designer. Number one is document everything you see and you like, any packaging of any products that you like, any receipts, any photos that you take, any colors that you like, take inspiration from literally everything. Another tip is to constantly try to design something out of your style and I try to do this once a week or once every other week. Let's talk about creating a brand kit. Now this is something that you're going to be asked to do a lot of times if you want to be a graphic designer or if you want to work in marketing in general or if you're starting your small business. This is a great skill and tool to have and luckily for you Pixar pretty much makes this like the easiest thing ever you're gonna go on pixart web log into your account and you're gonna click brand kit you can start a new brand kit and all the information that it's gonna ask you you can just basically fill all these things out things like what your brand name is what fonts you use your logo colors anything like that fill it all in and then you can save it and the best thing about this is that you can have all of this saved so if you want to use any tools within pixar including our new ai ad maker tool you can just link back to the brand kit for the brand that you're designing for it and it will automatically 
know your logo, your name, your colors, everything. It's so incredibly helpful. And also when you're making posters, for example, you can just drag and drop your logo instead of having to constantly look around your desktop and try to figure out what font I used or what the exact color code of the font I was using was. If you wanna learn how to make anything like from t-shirts to posters to even websites, what you can do is follow us at Pixart on TikTok, Instagram, or even subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're constantly posting new tutorials for literally anything you can think of. I'm sure you can just search it up and we've done a tutorial for it. The last thing you need to know if you wanna become a graphic designer is how to find clients. Number one is obviously a given and it's word of mouth. Once you've worked with some clients, maybe they're gonna post your work on their Instagram and they're gonna tag you and you're gonna get other clients from that or other people are gonna ask them for recommendation on graphic designers and your name's gonna come up. But until then, there's many platforms that you can sign up like Fiverr, for example, where you can just put your portfolio there. Another one that's great is through social media. So creating a social media separate to your own private accounts where you just showcase your graphic designs and you can create product mockups, posters, Again, just upload your portfolio, but a social media posts. With the correct use of SEO, you can find a lot of clients this way. And that was my very quick guide on how to become a graphic designer using Pixart in 2025. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And like I said, follow us on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can know whenever we post new tutorials that you might want to follow along. And having said that, I'll see you next week. Bye.